Today we are going to discuss with a new topic methods of electrification. Generally we are charging your body by using three different methods. So the major methods of electrification are the first one charging by friction. Suppose we have two bodies, two insulators. <clears throat> we know all the bodies contains atoms and charges. If you are going the two bodies are rubbed together, electrons are transferred from one body to another. On rubbing, heat energy is developed in between the two surfaces and electrons acquiring that heat energy electrons are transferring from one body to another. This method of electrification is generally known as electrification by friction. Before rubbing, the two bodies are electrically neutral and after rubbing, electrons are acquiring heat energy and transferred from one to another. One which loses electrons will become a positively charged body, the other one which receives electron will become a negatively charged body. So a small change in mass happening due to the transfer of electrons. If one electron is transferred, mass change of 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram happens and a charge of 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb is transferred. A simple example is that if you are rubbing a scale or comb with our hair, dry hair, electrons are transferred and scale become positively charged, hair become negatively charged. Practically we know that if we are going to show that scale to a small bit of paper, the paper bit gets attracted to the scale. Thus we can identify the scale get charged. Before rubbing, the paper bit is not attracted by the scale or comb, but in after rubbing, what happens, the scale becomes charged and after that if you are going to show that one to a bit of paper, the paper gets attracted. This is the first method of electrification called charging by friction. <coughs> Already we discussed with the, the properties of charges, the one of the major properties is conservation. Electrons are transferred from one body to another, that means neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one body to another. That means frictional electricity can be considered as an example of conservation of charge. By rubbing, electrons are transferred from one body to another body. There is no creation or distortion of electrons takes place. That is the first method of electrification, which is called electrification by friction. And the second method is that charging by conduction. Conduction means electrons are transferred from one body to another. Mobile charge carriers are electrons and electrons are transferred from one body to another. If we have, the conduction says that if we have a sphere uncharged sphere uncharged sphere is placed on a stand is placed on a stand and this stand is an insulating stand Insulating stand is placed on ground. We know if it direct contact between ground and this body, charges may flow to the ground. Okay. To avoid that one, we are using an insulating stand and above the insulating stand, we place an uncharged sphere. And we have a charged rod. Suppose the charge of this one is positive. If this rod is 
moving towards this one the anjadir sphere up to if a direct contact happening in between these two the charged rods is in contact with the, the uncharged sphere is in contact with the uncharged sphere this is a positively charged body which means electrons are deficient comparatively this is electron excess body so electron try to transfer from uncharged body to this positively charged one up to equilibrium let's qa is the charge of this body and suppose qb is the charge of the second one qb is equal to zero here because it is uncharged we consider maybe there is a charge qb then we can take it as qb not equal to zero if it is an uncharged one then we can take qb is equal to zero anyway after contact and separation after contact and separation qa dash new charge of a is equal to new charge of b that is equal to qb dash this is body a and this one is body b charge of this one is qa and charge of the second one is qb so qa dash is equal to qb dash and that is equal to qa plus qb by 2 is the relation qa dash is equal to qb dash and that is equal to qa plus qb by 2 this method is called charging by conduction and the third method is charging by induction an uncharged body can be charged by using the third method which is called charging by induction in this case we have an uncharged body which is also placed on an insulating stand and we have a charged rod this is initially uncharged is placed on an insulating stand <coughs> this is a charged rod and the charge of this rod is suppose positively charged rod we have electron deficient rods this rod not in contact with the uncharged sphere not in contact directly not in contact this uncharged body brought near to this charged body the uncharged body brought near to the charged body then what happens to the uncharged one uncharged body means it contains equal number of positive and negative charges equal number of positive and negative charges so to do the property like charges repels and unlike charges attracts negative charges move towards this side negative charges move towards this side and positive charges move to the another side simply we can say that unlike charges move towards the nearer end and like charges move to the farther end after this process by placing or keeping this rod at the same position if you are going to ground the farther end this will become a negatively charged sphere the result is it will become a negatively charged sphere so the process is the uh, charged rod attracts the <coughs> unlike charges towards the nearer end and the like charges towards the farther end like charges repels and unlike charges attract and by using the proper grounding or earthing we can charge this body either positively or negatively in this method we can charge the body either positively or negatively by grounding this side <coughs> we can charge this body negatively instead of that if we are going to ground this side this side what happens the body will become a positively charged one 
<coughs> so by induction we can charge the body either positively or negatively this method is called the charging by induction but in case of conduction if this is a positively charged body this will become also a positively charged one after conduction because electrons are transferred from the uncharged body to the positively charged body for attaining the equilibrium position okay now we discussed with the three different methods the methods are charging by friction charging by conduction charging by induction we know in case of uh, vehicles carrying inflammable materials vehicles carrying highly inflammable materials tanker lorries carrying highly inflammable materials we notice that a small metallic chain connected in front of the vehicle sometimes it touches the ground why we use a conducting metallic chain in front of vehicles carrying highly inflammable materials when the vehicle is running the tires are road in contact tires are in contact with the road and electrons are transferred from one body to another there is a possibility of accumulation of electron on the tires and also it is developed on the body of the vehicle due to the friction between air and the body due to these two things electrons are try to accumulate and if there is a small spark spark takes place what happens possibility of sparking causes explosion to avoid this one we use a long metallic chain which is sometimes touches the ground and during the chain touches the ground electrons are transferred to the ground the ground acquires or receives all the electrons that is why in vehicles carrying inflammable materials we use long metallic chains another example is we are using suppose we are using a scale co scale or comb which is running over the dry hair electrons are transferred from one to another this is not happening if we are running the comb or scale is over a uh, wet hair these type of experiments cannot be conducted in wet conditions due to the presence of water molecules the charges can be accumulated the charges may spread to the air due to the presence of water molecules okay these are the practical examples of other example is that in in case of this the same thing the friction electricity if we are considering an aircraft a running aircraft if it is landing there is a possibility of accumulation of charges due to the friction between tires and runway there is a possibility of sparking accumulation of charges something like that to avoid this one what will be do we are using special conducting rubbers so another question related to friction is that tires of aircraft made up of special conducting rubbers why answer special conducting rubbers are used for ground or uncharged the charges accumulated on the tires due to the friction between runway and tires so these are the major practical applications related to frictional electricity simply we can conclude these things we can electrify a body by using three different methods charged body means deficiency of charges causes positively charged body excess of electrons causes negatively charged body and if it contains equal number of positive and negative charges it is a neutral body and charged body means it is a neutral body which means equal number of positive and negative charges okay then three different methods we can use to charge a body the major methods are charging by friction <coughs> charging by conduction and charging by induction in case of friction electrons are transferred from one body to another by acquiring heat energy second case charging by conduction says that if a charged body and other uncharged body it is not necessary the second one is uncharged it is not necessary 
if it has have a charge qb is not equal to zero suppose then qb dash and qb dash is equal to qr plus qb by 2 instead of qb zero we can use its value so it is not necessary it is equal to zero or strictly it is uncharged maybe it has some charge or not one body which is charged another one is uncharged then if you are going to move together and after contact what happens electrons are shared like this this method of electrification is said to be charging by conduction charging by conduction after charging by conduction if these bodies are moved together by placing this one to a small interval of time and then after that we are going to remove this one and after that if we are move these bodies together repulsion takes place always the conduction causes repulsion because same charges are developing in the uncharged one this is a positively charged body and this one also the positive charges are developed so after charging by conduction if we are trying to move these bodies together repulsion takes place so we can charge this body according to the charge of this one in case of conduction but see in case of induction we can charge the uncharged body either positively or negatively by proper earthing this is a positively charged one and this is your under uncharged body initially and now if we are showing this rod to the uncharged sphere negative charges are moving or accumulated towards the nearer side positive charge to the farther side and by proper earthing we can charge this uncharged sphere either positively or negatively so this method is called charging by induction charges are induced the number of induced charges never greater than that of the charges in this one less than or equal number of induced charges in this one less than or equal to the charge of the charged body initially there is a charged body and the number of induced charges equal or less than never greater than okay so these are the three different methods of electrification after electrifying if we are placing the two charged bodies to a certain distance then there is a force happening in between these two point charges this is based on a law called coulomb's law so in the next session we are going to discuss with the topic coulomb's law in electrostatics